How to create an email banner using Canva. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. So we are just going to walk you through how we can create an email banner with a template or from scratch with Canva. So to get started, you will need an account with Canva.com. It is absolutely for free. So go ahead and create an account if you haven't already. Uh, once that's done, the, there are two methods. The first method is just find a template and work your way from there. And to do so, you can just go to the main section here and search for email banner. And once you select that, you can just go ahead and click on enter. And there's going to be a lot of templates to choose from. And there's going to be an unlimited amount of banners you can actually choose, select, and also uh, customize to your liking. So just go ahead and find the one that is proper for you. Click on it and click on uh, customize this template. This is a uh, this is a going to require the pro. Just find one that is not going to require the pro plan. Now I'm not going to select a template. I'm actually going to start from scratch and then work. Uh, from there so we can just click on create a design you have two options you either can create with a custom size so just go ahead and add the custom size or we can just go to more here search for email header which is just going to show us this one which is 600 by 200 click on it and then we can just go ahead and get started now for the background and everything in between we can either select uh, from the templates, which wouldn't be too different from what we did, except for the actual size of it. Uh, or we can just upload our own from the uploads here. But I'm just going to select the um, templates instead, just to make things easier for us. Now, if you have selected the templates, there are a few things that we can actually change. So first is going to be the text. We can feel free to change it. Uh, accordingly by double clicking on it and then we can just go ahead and add um, test text here and you can see now we have changed uh, the text next we can also just go ahead and change all the text the same way it's not really going to make a difference uh, and then we can also change the images that are in here so to do so you will need to just go ahead and go to uploads upload files and just go ahead and upload a photo that you want and we can just go ahead and drag and drop them on top of these images so let's just go ahead and replace them with colors this one i'm just going to make purple this one is just going to make uh, blue with the blue image that i have and i should have a red one here as well and you can see we can actually replace them easily uh, now we can also change the background color and every single color here that exists. So we can just go click on the background itself. Click on the top here to change the color and we can actually go ahead and change it to any color that we actually want. So yeah, we, we have a lot to play around with and change to our liking. I'm just going to actually leave it as it is. And you also have gradients and stuff to play around with. But I'm just going to stick to what we have. And also all the other elements. For example, these shapes, you can feel free to change the color of them very easily. From the same way, you can just go to the top here, click on colors and change it. Uh, and also, if the color is not proper or precise, make sure the transparency is... Yeah, you can see transparency was a little down. So you can just turn it up to change the color properly. And, you know, feel free to change whatever you want. Just click on it and you'll fe feel free to change it however you like. And once you are done, you can just click on share on the top right. Download and just download it as a PNG. And you should be good to go. So it's as simple as that. And if you just, you know, want to upload your own stuff instead, you can feel free to do so. Let's say we want to use this as a background. You can also do so, as you can see. Uh, if you did not realize how I did that, basically, um, I just went to uploads, got my image, drag and drop, right click on it, replace background, and you have it like that. So this is pretty much what you need to do. Uh, obviously, creativity is going to be playing a huge role, so just go ahead and try things out for yourself. Uh, and hopefully this video was helpful, and thanks for watching.